Okay. Okay. So sorry. Good morning. Today is Wednesday, July 21st, 2020 at 10 a.m. Um, and the engrossment rules resolution and credentials committee meeting is called to order. Uh, Madam Clerk, would you please call the roll? Alderwoman Howard. Aye. Present. Alderwoman Green. Present. Alderman Ty. Present. Chairwoman Ty. Present. Thank you, um, Madam Clerk. Um, now, if you would take a, if the committee members would take a few minutes to uh, read uh, over the minutes of uh, Wednesday, June 24th, 2020, I'd entertain a motion to approve the minutes. So moved. Need a second. Second. Madam Clerk, would you call the roll? Alderman uh, Howard. Aye. Alderman Green. Aye. Alderman Ty. Aye. Chairwoman Ty. Aye. Four aye votes. All right, thank you. Um, we have a long agenda with these special meetings that we have. Um, I will let you know that uh, some things are on the agenda that we're not allowed to get to because it has not been over three days. And that would be the things that we uh, had on Monday, June 29th. So anything that's starting on page eight, we are not allowed to do. So we will not be getting to that part of the agenda because it has to be over three days. And it has not been, um, but uh, when did we do this Monday and this is Wednesday. So uh, that will not happen. We will, depending on how long this thing goes um, and what people have to do, we might have to pick this up later today or whatever. We're gonna roll through as much as possible. Um, so we're gonna start with the board bills for enrollment. Um, the first board bill, and I've already read through these because I have to do the green copies. So um, the first board bill is board bill number two, introduced by Alderman Joseph Rohde. It's an ordinance uh, recommended by the Planning Commission on April 1st, 2020 to change the zoning of property as indicated on the district map and then city block 4969 from D multifamily dwelling district and F neighborhood commercial district to the D multifamily dwelling district and containing an emergency clause. And I, uh, we take a minute to go over uh, board bill number two. And um, if the um, committee members starting with our vice chair, uh, Alderman Green, do you have any uh, problems with this? Have you had a time to look at it? Yep, it looks good to me. Alderwoman Howard. Um, do you have any problems? No. Alderman Katas. I don't have any problems. Okay, I'd, in, uh, I'd entertain a motion to, uh, to enroll and pass out board bill number two with a due pass recommendation. So moved. Second. Previous roll. Any objection to previous roll? Hearing none, board bill number two is enrolled and passed out with a due pass recommendation. Moving right along, board bill number three, introduced by Alderman Joseph Rohde, um, is an ordinance uh, recommended by the Planning Commission on April 1st, 2020, to change the zoning of property as indicated on the district map and in city block 4969 from D multifamily dwelling district and F neighborhood commercial district to the D multifamily dwelling district and containing an emergency clause. Alderwoman Green, do you have any problems with uh, board bill number three? I do not. Alderwoman Howard? No problems. Alderman Todd? No, I do not. Okay, then I'd entertain a motion to pass out board bill up to, uh, to enroll board bill number three and pass it out with a due pass rec recommendation. So moved. So moved. Second. Okay. Roll. Any objection to previous roll? There's been no objection to previous roll. Board bill number three is passed out uh, as enrolled with a due pass recommendation. The next board bill we have is board bill number four, introduced by Alderwoman Shameen Clark Hubbard, an ordinance recommended by the Planning Commission on April 1st, 2020, to change the zoning of property as indicated on the, on the district map and in city block 3874.18 from E multifamily to, uh, excuse me, somebody's calling me and I'll let them know, I'm, uh, uh, I'll call you later. Okay, from E-Multifamily 
dwelling district to the H area commercial district at 5637 Pershing Avenue, Avenue and contained an emergency clause. Um, Alderwoman Green, did you have any problems with board bill number four? No, it looks good to me. Um, Alderwoman How Howard. No problems. Alderman Todd. I don't have any problems. Okay, I'd entertain a motion to pass out board bill number four um, with, uh, as enrolled with a due pass recommendation. So moved. Second. Previous roll. Any objection to previous roll? Hearing none, board bill number four is enrolled and passed out with a due pass recommendation. Uh, the next item is board bill number five, introduced by Alderwoman Heather Navarro. It's an ordinance uh, recommended by the Planning Commission on April 1st, 2020, to, changing, to change the zoning of property as indicated on the district map and in city block 51.01 from B two family dwelling district to the H area commercial district and containing an emergency clause. Alderwoman Green, do you have any problems with board bill number five? No, it looks good to me. Alderwoman Howard. I'm good. Alderman Todd. I don't have any problems. Um, I'll entertain a motion to pass out uh, board bill number five uh, so as in, enrolled and with a due pass recommendation. So moved. Second. Previous roll. Objection to previous roll. Hearing none, board bill number five is passed, is enrolled and passed out with a due pass recommendation. Board bill number seven introduced by Alderman Brandon Bosley. An ordinance recommended by the Planning Commission on April 1st, 2020 to change the zoning of property as indicated on the district map and in city block 968 and 969 from both C and G multifamily dwelling district and local commercial and office district and F neighborhood commercial district to the G local commercial and office district and containing an emergency clause. Alderwoman Green, any problems with board bill number seven? to me. Alderwoman Howard. No problems. Alderman Todd. No problem. Um, hearing no problems from the committee, I'd, introduce, I'd uh, entertain a motion that board bill number seven be enrolled and passed out with a due pass recommendation. So moved. Second. Previous roll. Any objection to previous roll? Hearing none, board bill number seven is passed out with a due pass recommendation as enrolled. Um, board bill number 22nd is a, a board bill, in, um, number 22 rather, is a board bill introduced by Alderman Jack John Coder, an ordinance recommended by the Planning Commission on May 6, 2020 to change the zoning of property as indicated on the district map from the J Industrial District to the G Local Commercial and Office District in City Block 377, um, 1501 and 1501RS, 7th Boulevard and 1400 South 8th Street, so as to include the described parcels of land in city block 377 and containing an emergency clause. Alderwoman Green, do you have any problems with board bill number uh, 22? No, nope. looks good. Um, um, no. Alderman, I'm sorry, Alderwoman Howard, do you have any problems? No, ma'am. Okay, I'm sorry, my phone is just, so many people are calling me, boy. Um, and Alderman Todd, um, do you have any problems with board no. bill number 22? No, I do not. Hearing no problems from the, hearing no problems from the committee, I'd entertain a motion that we enro enroll and pass our board bill 22 with a due pass recommendation. So moved. Second. Previous roll. Any objections to previous roll? Hearing none. Um, board Bill 22 is passed out with the enrolled and with the due pass recommendation. Um, the next board bill is Board Bill 29, an, or, an ordinance submitted to the qualified voters of the City of St. Louis, a proposal to revise Section 2 of Article 8 of the City of St. Louis Charter, which requires city employees to reside within the boundaries of the City of St. Louis and thus allow state employees, except for city agencies and department directors appointed by the mayor, to reside outside the boundaries of the city of St. Louis and providing for an election to be held for voting 
on the proposed revision and the manner of voting there thereat and for the publication certification deposit and recording of this ordinance and contained in an emergency clause. So let me start by saying I am not in support of this. I am not going to vote for a due pass recommendation. The committee, I will follow, um, and they can do what they want, but I'm voting no. So I will be opposed to a previous role, but I will continue to do what I said, and it's up to the committee to their vote. Um, Alderwoman Green, do you have any um, problems with Board Bill 29? No, it looks good to me. Alderwoman Howard. No problem. Alderman Todd. I'm opposed to this. I want to go on record saying I'm opposed to this bill too. Okay, well then, um, oh, so. Madam Chair, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Let me finish. And then you can do your point of order. So then what can happen is, oh, first of all, let me address something. We as the, uh, Rules Committee have every right to say that we support something, don't support it, uh, pass it out with a do pass, pass it out with a no recommendation, pass it out with a do not pass recommendation. All committees have that. We usually do not try to get into the weeds most of the time. This is something that is uh, dear, near and dear to my heart, and I'm going to get into the weeds with it. Um, so, and I also have recognized, so I want to be very clear, I've recognized that on this Board of Aldermen, some of us do not have the same rights as some of the others. We have been treated harshly. We have been marginalized. Our opinions don't matter. And I have expressed that to the president and I'm expressing it to these committee members. I do not appreciate it. So I have, our committee has been working very hard to be fair to people, but people are not working very hard to be fair to us. We all got elected to this board of aldermen and we all have to have something to be able to say. And so, People don't just get to get their way as a gang mentality, because when they do, then there are repercussions. If you're not fair to people, I can just go by the rules and people will not like the rules as they are written. written. So um, I don't want to hear any whining from anybody. If you think it's all right to violate my my rights, then I'm going to say I'm not going violate to violate your rights, but I am going to follow the rules to the letter. And that is what's going to happen in rules. If you do not think that... Uh, all the people at this Board of Aldermen should have a right, just like you do, to be participating. Then don't whine to me about why I'm not letting you have special rights, because I'm not. Okay. So now, Alderwoman Howard. Uh, Ma'am, uh, you know, and all, with all due respect, our function here is to engross these bills and, and roll them. That function is to review them for any errors and then examine them. At this point, what you're saying, I, you know, you have every right to express yourself, but at, we, I don't feel that we can detain these bills, uh, whether we agree for them. That is something that happens on the floor and in committee. We are here as a body to review for content, for errors, for anything that is not correct with them. Am I wrong? It says here- That's part of it. Well, let me read. What keep, I, keep reading. That. You asked me, are you wrong? So let me answer you. Part of it, you're right. And part of it, you're wrong. Well, let me let me just for clarity. Let me read. the uh, function as fine. It's You can read it, but make sure you read all, all the rules because there's some more parts to it. OK, I, I'm going to read all of them. Shall see mm -hmm. that all bills are properly engrossed. Mm -hmm. See city charter. OK, Article four, Section 15. Okay, it mm -hmm. shall also examine all enrolled bills carefully to compare the same bills as in gross correcting any errors and report the same with the words truly enrolled endorsed thereon. Additionally, agree. the committee shall examine all resolutions referred to it as their form, language, and substance and thereafter report thereon. Examine the certificates of election of newly elected aldermen and report to the board on the validity of said certification. And on other mm -hmm. matters, touching the qualifications of aldermen, be responsible for an annual review of the rules of the board and make recommendations for amendments and see the proper enforcement of the rules. Now, you're telling me, well, let me go on to say what, what happens with the engrossment. Any bill having been perfected and ordered engrossed shall be reviewed and reported by the committee on engrossment of the board of aldermen at the next regularly scheduled meeting of the board for third reading and final passage. 
provided that when a bill has been amended during the perfection process, said report shall not be made sooner than three days after the order to engross. The three-day period shall mean three 24-hour periods from the time the bill is referred to the Committee on Engrossment. Said Committee on Engrossment may authorize its chairman or vice chairman in the chairman's absence to act on the All of this, excuse me, Alderwoman, all of this, I don't need you to read into the rules. I know the rules backwards and forwards. Well, I'm just saying, I understand since it's the that. What is your point? Need to be a what? No, 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 Alderwoman. I don't, don't need you to read the rules into, I agree with all of that, but I want you to read the part that tells about that we have 30 days and that we can um, vote. Uh, do, all committees have 30 days to get something out of the, the committee, which has not been in here 30 days. All committees have the right to pass things out with a do, um, do not pass, a pass, uh, do not uh, take no action. So read that part. That's the part I want you, because I agree with everything you're reading. You just don't read it all. That's the problem. And I have been I'm very good in going along with things. And I'm talking about all of our functions. See, you don't get a right and then think I don't get a right. As the chair of your committee, you can hold a bill for 30 days before anybody, any of us can do a motion to take it out. That's what you need to know. It doesn't say for Carol Howard's special committee or some other person. It says all committees. Uh, what my duty is, is to get it engrossed by a certain amount of time, which I most certainly have done. Okay, now enrollment, I have up to 30 days at, uh, when this thing was first sent to my committee. I don't usually take that. I don't do that. But I also have my right as a member of the board and the chair not to uh, support a uh, certain board bill. So when you finish going through that, you're going to, when you get to the part that you need to read, it's going to say just what I told you, that I have 30 days, which has not been in here 30 days. That I also have, the, that our committee has the right to vote it out and take no action, do pass or non-do pass. That's what I'm telling you. So read that part. Because I don't need you to read all the part I agree to. Because everything you're saying, I agree with. You just don't read the part that doesn't agree with you. I'm not. I'm. I'm not saying. I'm saying what we. What What is your plan here, then? I, I have no argument with you. I have no argument with you at all. What you're saying, I said I don't need you to read that into. I agree with that. That is what it says. It also says that we get thirty days to put this out of committee. We have not gotten 30 days and it's not been 30 days. We also have our own individual rights to vote for things, okay? And even when you guys have voted and, and overrode me, I went right along with it. But that doesn't mean that I had to. I could have just held that bill that you guys dis differed with me. I did not. But this one, I am going to exercise my right as a duly elected official, just like you do all the time when you don't care that people rush shot over the older woman green or myself or other people when you go along with the crowd. Now you need to know what it feels like when the crowd may not be with you. So don't read into me anything into my committee that I already know. Read the part that does not let you do what you want to do, which is I got 30 days, which I'm going to take if I want to as my prerogative as a chair, just like you. And I have a right to vote yes, no, or take no action. So that's the part that you don't want to hear. And that's still there. And you can go look at it. We'll give you time to read it. And it'll say just what I told you it says. And you have never known me to try to cheat, even when we were being railroaded. And I was I asked no Monday. Madam right. When, we were, when I was don't asked Monday, don't speak over me. I do not speak over me. I, when I was being railroaded and Alderman, Alderman from the 24th asked me a question about having a fiscal note, although I really wanted to, for it to be, I did not say that. So when you finish reading the rules, the rules give us 30 days, which has not been 30 days, and it gives us a right to do a pass, a do not pass, or take no action. And it gives that to all committees. So read that part. Madam Chair. Yes, I'm hearing you. I have a question. Can you, sure. can you cite that for me to keep me from running through this whole document here? Can you, can but you, you were so yeah, you were so cute up to uh, argue with me and tell me what it's about. So now I'm going to let you. I'm going to let you sit right here and go through the rules so that you will know where it is because I promise you it's in there. And I'll let you look it up. I am not going to cite it for you because you have not 
understood that everybody has a right to participate. And I want you to understand this today, that I have been a very good chair Madam and chair. you have not, you have taken, you have not understood that. And so now I'll let you find it. But I that's, know. and so if you think it does it, you, okay, you found it good. Read it. I, give me a minute. And I, I do understand. Please don't. No, you don't. Estimate. No, you don't. No, you do not. No, you do not. You think it's all right to roughshod over people. No. And I don't. And I really do believe in fairness to people. Okay, Madam Chair. Okay, as I was saying before, um, the other woman from the uh, 14th had questions. I was speaking to my own personal decision of how I was going to vote. I did not ask any of you all to do any different. I was going to tell you that I was going to put it up, up as we usually do, and that each of you all can make your own decision. Since she did not let me, we got into the weeds a little bit. But I personally am not voting for this. I have been opposed to it for the longest period of time. I am opposed to citizens living outside our city. And if everybody else uses their power of their committee, I have no po first problem with using the power of our committee. But if people don't want to do that and majority don't, I also have no problem that a majority rules. And I have shown that when I was upset with Alderman uh, Boyd and he came in and you guys disagreed with me and that bill went right through there. So everybody has a right to participate. And I hope the greater board hears this. And I hope the other one from the 14th hears this the next time many of these, the, the other majority of these, this uh, committee is being roughshodded over that maybe you will say, I don't like this feeling and I don't want anybody else to feel like this because Monday I felt like that seven hours of being uh, overridden, uh, marginalized, put on marginal committees, not just me, other woman green and a whole host of us are put on a health committee. If you come to the health committee, you will say, what's going on? Why are all these women there? Because we're being marginalized, okay? If you look at me, I have more seniority than anybody but Jeff, uh, but uh, the alderman from the 17th. I have no committees that I'm on. I've told the president this to his face, so I'm not saying it behind his back. You cannot marginalize me because there's probably no one here at this board that knows the board better than me. And it's fair and will be fair. So when you all do this thing, always remember that sometimes when you do things to people that they get done back to you and then you don't like it. So maybe don't treat people like this. I'm still not going to do to you what's been done to us. I'm going to have, you're going to have a fair vote and I was going to put it off before everybody. And then the majority will make a decision, but that's what uh, democracy is about. It is not roughshodding and demoralizing and marginalizing this board that will be a majority women very soon. And I have been saying this for the longest. And so for you to act like that, I would in any way cheat. I will not ever cheat, even if it does not satisfy me, but I will use the rules that help me and my cause because you all have not heard that other people have differences. And I'm speaking directly to you, Alder woman. You do not understand that we at this board of aldermen should have a right to have the same 
input as you do. You all get a gang mentality and you run over everything and never realize an older woman from the 14th that we here are majority over you, but we've never done that to you. And I will hope that next time you're part of that gang that you stop and say, how does this feel? Because it does not feel good. It is not a good way to run the board of aldermen. It is horrible. I feel sorry for all the young people. I'm 64 years old. I can step away from this and go on about my business. But this should not be what we should be putting out to the city. I got all kind of calls, emails. People were just outraged about what happened uh, Monday. Seven hours to trick people. I had set up this committee because the board bill one was supposed to be heard and then something entirely different happened. And everybody's all right with that because we're playing the rules. They go with what I want it to be. But sometimes the rules do not go along with you. But if you got people who are trying to be fair, they work with you anyway. But when you totally disregard everybody else, then look to be totally disregarded. And if you don't hear me, it's because you don't want to hear me. Alderman Todd, I'm sorry, you heard, uh, you had your hands up. Well, no, I was just saying that uh, uh, I, uh, I'm voting no too. Okay, so um, is there any further, Alderman Green, you have anything you want to say? I'm sorry, because you didn't do anything here. You are part of the persons that have been marginalized. But at some point, we have to stand up for ourselves, okay? So I'm sorry that you got drugged into this because I really wasn't, I was only going to say, I'm not going to vote for it. And you, you can vote your own conscience. But since I've been challenged, this is the time to educate people who have the privilege of being part of a gang, that it's not a great thing to be part of a gang when the gang is against you. Do you have anything to say? I don't. I, I, I don't want to win. I, I am good. I'm good. Thank you. Okay. All right. So um, as I was saying, um, I'm not going to support this, uh, but if there is someone who, uh, where is it, da, da, da. board bill number 29, um, if there is someone who wants to make a motion to pass, uh, to enroll and pass our board bill 29 with a due pass recommendation, I will entertain it. So moved. Second. Other woman, you don't have a second. We got uh -huh. some time to work. Well, wait a minute. Let me finish. I didn't say anything. You cannot run my committee. Wait a minute. Let me finish. I'm not trying to run your committee. Okay. You, yes, you do. You try to all the time, and I'm going to have a conversation with you about that. So here's what's you going what, to happen. Make it real easy well, excuse me. Excuse me. You're talking over me now. So here's what's going to happen. We're going to put. We're going to put board bill 29. We're going to hold it in committee. We're going to have some conversations about it. We're going to have some conversation with the sponsor. We can see if, if there's, we want to change our mind. It hasn't been here 30 days. And so um, when it uh, gets to 30 days, uh, then we can talk about it. Maybe next week there'll be a change of heart. I appreciate it. Okay, we're going to move on um, to, Alderman, uh, to Board Bill 45, which is an ordinance uh, introduced by Alderman Joseph Volmer. It's an ordinance pertaining to the transit sales tax imposed pursuant to section 94.660 revised Missouri statute as directing the treasurer of the city of St. Louis to deposit funds received pursuant to said sales tax and to the city public transit sales tax fund account one approximately $9,354,000 from the said sales tax for the period here in stated to the Bi-State Development Agency for certain purposes in containing an severability and emergency clause. Um, Alder, Alderwoman uh, Green, do you have any problems with Board Bill 45? No, it looks in order to me. I don't know if as Alderwoman Howard has left. Alderwoman Howard, are you still here? Do you have any problems with Board Bill 45? Alderman Todd, are you still here? Yes, I am. I don't have any problems with it. I'd entertain a motion that Board Bill 45 be uh, enrolled and passed out with a due pass recommendation. So moved. Second. Previous roll. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, Alderwoman Howard is not here. Um, so I don't want to do, I don't like to do previous rolls when people are not here. So Madam Clerk, would you please call the roll? Madam Clerk. 
Madam Clerk. She seems to not be on anymore. Okay, we'll have to wait for her to get back. I'll call her. I'm going to still be here, but I'm going to have to, something is going, oh, there she's back. <laughs> Madam Clerk? He lost internet connection at the bill. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Are we still at, on 29? Um, we are, we went to 29, yes, and since uh, Alderwoman Howard of the 15th left, we're going to do a roll call because I, I don't want to uh, have a previous roll when people are not here. I don't like that. Okay, so I'm sorry, know? not 29. We went to 45. I'm sorry. We were okay. at 45. You didn't hear us? I missed the whole thing for 29. Okay, so uh, all the women Howard left. We, he, she didn't get a second to have it in, enrolled. And who said So she made a motion. There was no second. No second. Howard okay. made a... Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 So, um, so then we moved on to 45. Okay. In which uh, um, there was convers no one had any questions with it. Alderwoman Green, you did the motion. Um, did you do the uh, motion to pass it out with the enrollment and do pass recommendation? Yes, I did. Alderman Todd did a second. I said, I don't want to do a previous roll because Alderwoman Howard left. So I asked you to call the roll. That's where we are. Got it. Okay. Uh, Alderwoman Howard. Alderwoman Green. Aye. Alderman Todd? Aye. Chairwoman Tyus? Aye. Three aye votes. By your vote, you've uh, enrolled, enrolled and passed our Board Bill 45 with the due pass recommendation. Madam Clerk, we decided to just take Board Bill 29. It's not been 30 days yet. So we're just leaving it right on, uh, at the enrollment calendar and we're going to see if we can have a further conversation with the sponsor and some other people okay okay so we're just going to hold that yes it still will be in, in place on the on the en uh, enrollment calendar got it okay okay i um, going to board bill number 46 it's an um, ordinance introduced by alderman joseph bolmer it's an ordinance pertaining to the transit sales tax imposed pursuant to section 94.660 uh, revised Missouri statute directing the treasurer of the city of St. Louis to deposit funds received pursuant to, pursuant to said sales tax into the city public transit sales tax trust fund. Account two, approximately 9,354,000 from the said sales tax for the period herein stated to the bi-state development agency for certain purposes containing a severability and emergency cost. Alderwoman Green, um, if you do you have any problems with uh, Board Bill 46? Nope, looks good to me. Alderman Todd? No, I don't have any problems. Okay, I'd entertain a motion that Board Bill 46 be enrolled and passed out with a due pass recommendation. So moved. Second. Previous roll. Pre any objection to previous roll? Hearing none, Board Bill 46 is passed out with a due pass recommendation and enrolled. Board Bill number 10. I'm sorry, board bill number 47, introduced by Alderman Joseph Vollmer, an ordinance pertaining appropriating the sum of 17,860,000 as described in section 94.600 through 94.655, revised Missouri statute 2000 as amended for the period herein stated, which sum is hereby appropriated out of the transportation trust fund to the bi-state 
Development Agency for, transport for Transportation Purposes, containing a severability and emergency clause. Alder Woman Green, you have any problems with Board Bill 47? Nope, it looks good to me. Alder Man Todd, do you have any problems with Board Bill 47? No, I do not have any problems. Okay, I'll entertain a motion that Board Bill 47 be enrolled and passed out with a due pass recommendation. So moved. Second. Uh, previous role. Any objection to previous role? Hearing none, Board Bill 47 is, is enrolled and passed out with a due pass recommendation. Okay, uh, I'm going to skip right over Board Bill 51, and we're going to go to Board Bill 60. Board Bill 60 is amended by, is, is, as amended, is introduced by Alderman Jeffrey Boyd. Uh, it's an ordinance relating to the appointment and salaries of certain employees in the recorder's office pursuant to section 82.610 of the revised statute of the state of Missouri by repealing ordinance 70336, allocating certain and other employees to a grade with, with rate and containing an emergency clause and effective date. Um, and um, Alderwoman Green, do you have any problems with board bill 60? Hold on, I'm still scrolling down. Okay. Looks good to me. Alderman Todd? Uh, no, I don't have any problems. Um, okay, then I'll entertain a motion that Board Bill 60 be enrolled and passed out with a due pass recommendation. So moved. Second. Previous roll. Any objection to previous roll? Hearing none. Board Bill 60 is enrolled and passed out with a due pass recommendation. I want to tell you, I am um, having a conversation with the treasurer about Board Bill 51, so I'm not going to enroll it until I finish with my conversation. We are well within our 30 days, so we'll just let that sit on the uh, en enrollment calendar while I finish my conversation with the treasurer. Okay, now we're going to Board Bill for engrossment, and these were... Uh, passed out, sent over to us on Tuesday, the, the 23rd. This is the first, would it would have been the first Friday after three days, only we're going to have our meeting on Thursday, but still the same. Um, we need to engross them. And they are starting with Board Bill 23, as introduced by Alderman Jeffrey Boyd. And it's an ordinance recommended by the Parking Commission making appropriations for payment of the operating expense, capital expense including lease purchase agreements and debt service expenses of the parking division of the treasurer's office of, for fiscal year, July 1st, 2020 through June 30th, 2021, and the sum of $17,560,584, including $1,930,335 for capital improvement and containing an emergency clause. We do have to, uh, we don't have, we have 30 days after uh, to get something out of uh, committee for enrollment, but we do by charter have to engross within a certain amount of time. So we do need to engross these. Um, so um, if you had time to look at it, if you have any questions, um, uh, Alder Woman Green, do you have any questions pertaining to board bill number 23? No, it looks good to me. Um, Alderman Todd, any questions? No, I don't have any questions. Um, okay, I'd entertain a motion that Board Bill 23 be, pa be engrossed. Um, okay. Second? Second, Alderman Todd? Second, second. Sorry. Okay. Previous roll. Any objection to previous roll? Hearing none, I'd entertain I, I, uh, Board Bill 23 is enrolled and passed out with a due pass recommendation. Um, the next board bill we have is uh, board bill 53. Um, and I want to just say, I, 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 I couldn't remember if I saw, uh, is there a petition that's supposed to go with this? Because I don't remember if I saw that or not. So I need to look at that. This is one I need to look at. And the next uh, two I need to look at to see if everything is attached. So uh, if you will just, uh, 
not mine, it's going to take a few minutes for me to look at this one because I didn't get a chance to look at them. I, I had a lot of stuff on this. Uh, I'm trying to think what else is here that we could do, and then maybe we do the long ones, take a little break. Do you mind if we skip these three? We will come back and get them done. I just, that way we could take a little break and I could uh, read over them. Do you all have a problem with that? Nope, that is fine. All the women agree? Okay, we'll do the ones that's easier to do. Okay, and then we'll come back. Um, so we'll skip 14, 15, and 16, just to and because I want to check and make sure everything is uh, attached as, as supposed to be. And so we'll go to a uh, board bill, uh, item number 17, which is 65, but we will come back to these. Um, uh, board bill number 65 is a uh, board bill introduced by Alderman Jack, John Coder, I'm sorry, Alderman Coder, Alderwoman uh, Christine Ingracia, Alderman Dan Gunther, Alderman Thomas Oldenburg, Alderman, Alderwoman Sarah Martin, Alderman Brett and Ryan and all the women, Megan Green. And it's an ordinance amending section two, paragraph 14.01.130 of ordinance 69346 to permit drink license holders to sell intoxicating beverages, not in their original packages for consumption on or off the license premises and amending section two, paragraph 14.01.390 of ordinance 68536 to permit licensed restaurant or bars to sell intoxicating beverages for consumption on or off the licensed premise. And amending section four, paragraph 14.03.040 of ordinance 68536 to permit Sunday drink license holders to sell intoxicating beverages for consumption on or off the licensed premise. And amending section one of ordinance 68786 to permit licensed persons to sell intoxicating intoxicating beverages at retail, not in their original package, and amending section four, paragraph 14.05.125 of ordinance six, let me see here, I'm trying to do that. Ordinance 68536 to permit the refilling of liquor and amending section six, paragraph 14.050.140 of ordinance 68536 to create an exception to the pro prohibition on the sale of intoxicating beverages to persons in the automobile. Contain and it contains a sunset clause, I believe, at the end of December is when the sunset clause is in effect. I see the alderman from the uh, what the sponsors here. Um, alderman, is the uh, sunset clause, does it uh, kick in for the last day of December? Is that correct? That's correct. Uh, chairman, it's okay. simply to not put it in conflict, put us in conflict with state law. Okay. All right. Thank you. Um, Alderwoman Green, do you have any uh, uh, problems with Board Bill 65? I do not. Alderman Todd? No, I do not. Um, hearing that we have no problems, I'd entertain a motion to pass Board Bill 65 out with the, uh, in, as enrolled, and I do pass recommendation. I'm going to touch. You need to unmute yourself. Second. So moved. Need a previous roll? Previous roll. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, any objections to previous roll? Hearing none, Board Bill 65 is enrolled. In, I'm sorry, is engrossed. We're in engrossment now. It's engrossed and um, it's not passed. I would have do pass recommendation um, because it has to be enrolled and um madam clerk if i made a mistake board bill number 23 is just engrossed and so it's not passed out with the due pass recommendation it just rolls over to the enrollment calendar so i may have made a mistake on board bill number 23 and then board bill number 65 both of them are enrolled engrossed i'm sorry right okay. keep getting that mixed up engrossed <laughs> and then they move over to the enrollment calendar <laughs> okay. okay um board bill number 46 um, it's a board bill that is uh, sponsored by Alderman John Coda and Alderwoman Christine Ingracia. Uh, it is a, I'm sorry, I, I thought I heard somebody. Okay. Um, it's an ordinance submitted to the qualified voters of the city of St. Louis to a gross receipt tax to be imposed on telecommunication providers and fiber network providers as set forth herein that are not otherwise currently subject to such taxes providing for an election to be held therefore and the manner of voting thereat 
and in, and upon passage of said ballot measures and amendment to City of St. Louis Ordinance 67717 as codified in Section 23.34.020 of the Revised Code of the City of St. Louis and Section 23.34.010 through 23.34. Point oh three oh of the revised code of the city of St. Louis reflecting gross receipt taxes to be imposed as approved by the voters of the city of St. Louis. Chairwoman Tyus, I'm sorry, what board bill number is this? 66. Why am I not? Okay, sorry, I got switched over to the wrong folder. I no problem. Are you, I'm sorry. I'm a little green. I was just waiting to make sure you had a chance to oh, look yeah, over the I'm, bill. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Uh, um, it, Alderman Green, so you don't have any problems with it? No. Alderman Todd, do you have any problems with Board Bill 66? No, I do not. Okay, I'd entertain a motion that Board Bill 66 will be engrossed 
I am moved over to the enrollment calendar. Second. We need a motion first. Auto on the green. So moved. Second. Previous roll. Previous roll. No objections to previous roll. No objections to previous roll. Board bill uh, number 66 is engrossed. Um, so we're going to go on to the board bills that were referred Friday. And like I said, we still got those three that were, um, that I haven't had time to look at. We're going to, uh, what time is it now? Okay. It's about 1130. So maybe at 12, we'll take a 10 or 15 minute break. Would that be a problem for anybody? That'd be great. Okay. So then that way, while we're on the break, I'll look over the, uh, the, the board bills that I hadn't had a chance to check on. Um, board bill uh, number 14 was introduced by Alderwoman Tamika Hubbard. It's an ordinance authorizing and directing the mayor and comptroller of the city of St. Louis to execute upon receipt of and in consideration of the sum of $10 and other goods and valuable consideration, a quick, a quick claim deed to remise, release, and forever quit claim unto the Board of Education's certain city-owned property located in city block 0362, which property is known and numbered as 1100 Monroe Street, St. Louis, Missouri, 63106, and 1101 Madison Street, St. Louis, Missouri, 63106 in the city of St. Louis, Missouri. Alderwoman Green, you have any problems with board bill number 14? No, nope, it looks fine to me. Alderman Todd? No, I do not have any problems. Um, I've entertained a motion that board bill number 14 be engrossed and, and moved over to the enrollment calendar. Uh, so moved. Second. Previous roll. Any objections to previous roll? Board bill number 14 is engrossed. Next board bill is 17. And a uh, uh, board bill introduced by the woman Carol Howard is an ordinance approving a blighting study and redevelopment plan for the 4500 to 4510 South Kings Highway Boulevard redevelopment area. Any problems with board bill 17, Alderwoman Green? If you want to take a minute, that's fine. Hold on one second. Just checking on the attachments here. Okay, that's fine. Looks good to me. All right. Uh, what about you, Alderman um, Todd? I don't see any problems with it. Okay. Uh, I entertain a motion that board bill 17 be engrossed. Second. 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 <laughs> okay. Pre uh, uh, any objections to previous role? Board bill 17 is engrossed. Board bill 18 is introduced, introduced by Alderman Howard. An ordinance approving a blighting study and redevelopment plan for 4314 Itasca Street redevelopment area. Alderwoman Green, have you had time to look at it? Yep. We'll give you a few minutes. Let me, I'm sorry, what did you say? I'm just checking on, on attachments. Okay, let me know when you're ready. Phew! 
You ready, Auto Woman? Yep. Okay. okay. Uh, Auto Woman Green, do you have any questions about Boy Bill 18? Nope. Auto Woman Todd? No. Okay, I entertain a motion that Boy Bill 18 be, be engrossed. Um, so moved. Second. Previous roll. Any objection to previous roll? Hearing none, Board Bill 18 is engrossed. Board Bill 19, introduced by Alderman Joseph Ballmer, an ordinance approving a redevelopment plan for the 5633 through 5637 Botanical Avenue area. Okay. Alderman Todd, do you have any questions? I don't have any questions. Thank you. I'd entertain a motion that Board Bill 19 be engrossed. So moved. Second. Previous roll. Board Bill 19 is now engrossed. Um, Board Bill number 30, introduced by Alderwoman Marlene Davis, an ordinance approving a redevelopment plan dated January 21st, 2020, for the 3603 Cass Avenue area. Good to me. Okay, Alderman Woman Green, Alderman Todd, you have any questions or problems with Board Bill uh, 19? I'm no, sorry. I have, no, I do not. 30. Have. It's 30 wrong, right? 30. No, I don't have any problems. I don't entertain a motion that Board Bill 30 um, be engrossed. So moved. Second. Previous roll. Board Bill 30. Uh, any objections to uh, previous roll? Hearing none, Board Bill 30 is engrossed. They've gotten a lot better since they came to uh, engrossment class with us. <laughs> okay, the next one is board. The correct order. <laughs> I think we should get paid for uh, for our uh, teaching them how to do board bills correctly. I think we should get an extra paycheck or something. Um, the next board bill is 31, introduced by Alderman Joseph Rohde, an ordinance for Approving a redevelopment plan dated January 21st, 2020 for the 1417-1433 Tower Grove area. Alderman Todd, do you have any questions about Board Bill 31? No, I don't have any questions. Okay. Um, I'd entertain a motion that Board Bill 31 be engrossed. So moved. Second. Previous roll. Objection to previous roll. Hearing none, Board Bill number 31 is engrossed. Um, board Bill number 33, an ordinance introduced by Alderman Dan Gunther. An ordinance approving a redevelopment plan dated January 21st, 2020 for the 3535 through 3537 Missouri Avenue area in the city of St. Louis after finding that the area is blighted as defined in section 99.320 of the revised statutes of Missouri 2016 as amended, the statute being section 99.300 to 99.715 inclusive, finding that there will be available five-year tax abatement 
based on 50% of the assessed value of the incremental improvements for 3535 through 3537 Missouri Avenue and pledging the cooperation of the Board of Aldermen. I want to just say that uh, Alderman Gunther does a real good job of making sure not to have when he sponsors tax abatement for it to be as low as possible. I know people have said things to him because he has had problems with some past tax abatements, but he never comes back with anything more than what needs to be done. I appreciate that. Yep, and it looks good to me. You have any problems, Alderman Todd? No, I do not have any problems. Um, I'd entertain a motion that Board Bill 33 be uh, engrossed. So moved. Second, previous roll. Um, any objections to previous roll? Hearing none, Board Bill 33 is engrossed. Now this next person, I don't know if we can pass this out, Alderman Woman Green. Board Bill 34, introduced by Alderman Jesse Todd. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> And the ordinance is approving a redevelopment plan dated February 25th, 2020 for 811 through 817 North Kings Highway Boulevard in the city of St. Louis after finding that the area is blighted, defined in section 99.320 of the revised statute of Missouri 2016 as amended, the statute being sections 99.300 to 99.715 inclusive, and finding that there will be available 10 year tax abatement based on. 95% of the assessed value of the incremental improvements of 8111 through 8117 North Kings Highway Boulevard and pledging cooperation of the Board of Aldermen. Um, so since you're here, Alderman Todd, where is uh, 8111 through 8117? I was trying to figure, is that up? Is that by uh, Church's Chicken or further down north? It's by Church's Chicken. Uh, it used to be called the... Uh, it was a bar at first. I forget. I never attended it, but I, I it was uh, uh, the elite. It was where it was called right. the elite. And so it's. Uh, and before uh, that, it was the. Before that, it was a pe a pizza place, I think. Right, and so we certainly need to develop uh, need that developed, and it would be an asset to the uh, community. Oh, I agree. I've been looking at it. They've been working on it a little bit, so they're uh, cleaning it up. It looks good. Um, Alderman Green, are there any problems with Board Bill 34? Nope, it looks good. Um, Alderman, Alderman Todd, you have any problems with Board Bill 34? No, I do not have any problems. Thank you, Madam <laughs> Chair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'd entertain a motion that we engross Board Bill number 34. So moved. A second. Previous roll. Objections to previous roll. Hearing none, Board Bill 34 is engrossed. Another problem person, board bill number 35, also in, introduced by Alderman Jesse Todd. It's an ordinance approving a redevelopment plan dated February 25th, 2020 plan for 5143 Del Mar Boulevard area in the city of St. Louis after finding that the area is blighted as defined in section 99.320 of the revised statutes of Missouri 2016 as amended, the statute being section 99.320. 300 to 99.715 inclusive, finding that there will be available 10 year tax abatement based on 95% of the assessment, assessed value of the incremental improvements of 5143 Delmar Boulevard and pledging cooperation of the Board of Aldermen. Alderwoman Green, do you have any problems with uh, Board Bill 35? Nope, it looks good. What about yourself, Alderman Todd? The, um, <laughs> where is 51? What it, where is 5143 Delmar? So that would be up past the barbershop? Right, it's past the barbershop between Clarendon and Academy on the south side of the street on Delmar. Hold on, I'm sorry. We just uh, lost all electric. Oh, it... Wait a minute, something's going on. Hold on.
I'm sorry. Um, electric came back on, so I don't know what's going on over here. Um, sorry about that. Um, so I'm sorry. Where is the, uh, it's where between, is 51? Between Academy and uh, Clarendon. Uh, down the street from the barbershop is on the corner, but it's west of the barbershop. Okay, and all of a sudden I just lost my connection. I still got voice, but uh, my Zoom connection. Can you can you guys see me at all? You're no. frozen. Okay, I'm gonna have to come back on. I don't know what happened to the Zoom connection. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Sorry. I don't know what's going on. Uh, the lights are blinking on and off over here. So the storm is must, must. I don't know why it's affecting. Okay. I'm sorry. So anyway, um, let me put this, set this back up. My iPad should not have been affected since it's got a full battery, but it's acting, Zoom is acting crazy also. Okay, so where did you say you were telling me where 5143 Delmar was? Ultimately? It's uh, between Academy and uh, uh, Clarendon. That's uh, west of that barber shop. Okay, is it that? It's not, is it the uh, storage building? Yes, it's in, the, in that area right there, yes. Okay. All right. Just was trying to figure out where it was. That's all. Okay. Uh, Alderman Todd, you don't have any uh, problems with board bill 35, I take it? No, I do not. Okay. Um, and so I've entertained a motion um, that uh, board bill 35 being uh, engrossed. So moved. Second. Previous roll. Objection to previous roll. Hearing none, board bill 35 is engrossed. And again, I'm sorry, I don't know what's going on. My lights are going on and off and my Zoom, my internet connection is unstable. So um, if I go back out again, I'll come right back on. Um, this is the problems when you're doing Zoom and not, Zoom and not in person. Uh, board bill number 40, introduced by Alderwoman Heather Navarro. It's an ordinance approving a blighting study and redevelopment plan for 5078, 5080 through 5090 Delmar Boulevard redevelopment area 
after finding that the area is blighted as defined in section 99.320 of the revised statute of Missouri 2016 as amended, the statute being 99.300 to 99.715 inclusive, finding that financial aid may be necessary to enable the area to be redeveloped in accordance with the plan, finding that there should be available tenure tax assurance and pledging cooperation of the Board of Aldermen and requesting various officials, departments, boards, and agency of the city to cooperate and exercise their respective powers in a manner consistent with the plan. Alderwoman Green, do you have time to go over this? Board Bill? Do you have any problems with 40? Uh, nope, looks good. What about yourself, Alderman Todd? Uh, no, I do not. Okay, I introduce a motion that board bill, uh, I, inter I entertain a motion that board bill 40 be engrossed. Second, previous roll. Objection to previous roll. Hearing none, board bill 40 is engrossed. Um, let's see where we are. Okay, board bill number 48, introduced by Alderwoman Shameen Clark Hubbard an ordinance approving a blighting study and re redevelopment plan for a 310 to Bolivar uh, Avenue redevelopment area. Alderwoman Green, any problems with board bill 48? Looking at attachments now. Okay. okay. to me. Alderman Todd, any questions? No, I don't have any questions, Madam Chair. I'd entertain a motion that Board Bill 48 be engrossed. So moved. Second, previous roll. Objections to previous roll. Hearing none, Board Bill 48 is engrossed. Board Bill 49 introduced by Joseph Ballmer and Alderwoman Marlene Davis. An ordinance recommended by the Board of Estimate and Apportionment wherein the Board of Aldermen authorized the receipt and appropriate funds under the CARES Act, the Federal Emergency Management Act, grant program, the Bureau of Justice Assistance, Coronavirus Emergency Supplemental Funding Program, the Community Development Block Grant Program, the Emergency Solutions Grant Program, and the Housing Opportunities for People with AIDS and Ryan White Grant Program, all relating to the COVID-19 Pan, pan, pandemic and containing an, an emergency clause. Looks good to me. Any questions, Alderman uh, Todd? I don't have any questions. Okay, I'd entertain a motion that uh, Board Bill 49 be engrossed. Uh, so moved. Second, previous roll. Objection to previous roll. Hearing, hearing none, Board Bill 49 is engrossed. Board Bill 52, introduced by President Lewis Reed, Alderman Joseph Bolmer. An ordinance recommended by the Board of, of Estimate and Apportionment authorizing a supplemental appropriation amending ordinance 70963, commonly referred to as the City of St. Louis Annual Operating Plan for fiscal year 2019-2020, appropriating and setting apart special fund revenues to address projected revenue shortfalls in the general fund for the current fiscal year in the amount of 6670000 I'm sorry, six million six hundred seventy-six thousand eight hundred eighty-eight dollars, and herein detailed and contained containing an emergency clause. It looks good to 
looks good to me. Alderman Todd, you have any questions? No, I don't have any questions. I'd entertain a motion that board bill 52 be engrossed. So Second, previous Second. roll. Objection to previous roll, here none. Board Bill 52 is engrossed. Board Bill 54, introduced by Alderwoman Marlene Davis. Um, it's an ordinance approving a redevelopment plan dated May 26, 2020, for the 3306 Washington Boulevard air area. We're following your lead, Alder Woman Green. <laughs> Just looking, looking okay. Exhibit here. All right. Me. Okay, and this is Board Bill 54, right? Yes. Okay, and entertain a motion that Board Bill 54 be engrossed. So moved. Second. Previous roll. Previous roll. Okay, and objection to previous roll. Here, none. None. Board Bill 54 is engrossed. Board Bill 56 introduced by Alderman Woman Carol Howard. An ordinance approving a blighting study and redevelopment plan for 4635 and 4627 Ridgewood Avenue redevelopment area. to me. Alderman Todd, you have any problems with Board Bill 56? No, I don't have any problems. I'd entertain a motion that Board Bill 56 be engrossed. Second. Previous roll. Any objections to a previous roll? Hear none. Board Bill 56 is, is engrossed. Board Bill 59, introduced by Alderwoman Kara Spencer. An ordinance approving a redevelopment plan dated April 21st, 2020 for 3919 and 3920 Minnesota Avenue area. Looks good to me. Alderman Todd, do you have any questions? No, I don't have any questions. Okay, I'd, I'd, I'd entertain a motion that Board Bill 59 be engrossed. So moved. Second, previous roll. Any objection to previous roll? Hearing none, Board Bill 59 is engrossed. Um, that leaves us with the three previous board bills along with uh, Board Bill 63. It's uh, noon right now. I would like to take a uh, and I'm going to really need about 20 minutes to go over some of these uh, attachments. Is that going to be a problem for anybody? No, that is fine. Do we want to go ahead and just do 63 so then we only have to... I really need to look at that too, okay? okay. I didn't have... It's just, we just had so much, I just couldn't get to them all. Yeah, okay. So, okay. Uh, so we're going to take... Um, uh, it's 12, 12 o'clock now, so we'll come back about 12, 20. We're going to need about 20 minutes, okay? Okay. Is that all right? Yes. Alderman Todd? Yes, it's fine. All right, thank me. you. All right, we're going to take a break. Thank you.
All right, we had a short recess um, so that I could go with some board bills that I had not had a chance to, to look over. And we are resuming the uh, engrossment rules, resolution and credentials meeting. Um, we're gonna go back to board bill 53, which is uh, board bills for engrossment. Under board bills for engrossment, it's on page four of 10. Um, and um, we're going to look at Board Bill 53 as amended, introduced by Alderwoman Heather Navarro. It's an ordinance approving the petition of an, of an owner of a certain real property to establish a community improvement district, establishing the Forest Park uh, TOD Community Improvements District, finding a public purpose for the establishment of the Forest Park TOD Community Improvement District and containing an emergency clause and containing a severability clause. Alderwoman Green, have you had time to read over Board Bill 53? Yes, I have, and it looks good to me. I'm look, Alderman Todd, how about yourself? Okay. Yes, it looks good to me, too. Um, and I've, I've had time to, uh, to read over it and I'll make sure they had all the attachments, and they did, and I'd entertain a motion to uh, engross Board Bill 53 as amended. So moved. Second. <clears throat> previous roll. Objections to previous roll. Hearing none, Board Bill 53 is engrossed. Board Bill 55, introduced by Alderman Jody, Joseph Rohde, an ordinance approving the petition to establish the Iron Hill Community Improvement District, establishing the Iron Hill Community Improvement District as a political subdivision of the state of Missouri, confirming the prior determination that the real estate within the Iron Hill Community Improvement District is a blighted area, finding a public purpose for the establishment of the Iron Hill Community Improvement District approving appointment of the initial board of directors containing an emergency clause and containing a severability clause. Alderwoman Green, have you had time to purview and read over board bill 55? I have, and it looks uh, in order to me. Have any problems with board bill 55, Alderman Todd? No, I do not, Madam Chairwoman. Okay, I'd entertain a motion that board bill 55 be uh, engrossed. So moved. Second, <clears throat> previous roll. Section to previous roll, hearing none, Board Bill 55 is engrossed. Board Bill 57, as introduced by Alderman Christina Gracia, uh, an ordinance approving the petition for the creation of the Soccer Stadium Community Improvement District, establishing the Soccer Stadium Community Improvement District as a political subdivision of the state of Missouri, declaring the Soccer Stadium Community Improvement District to be located in a blighted area and contains a severability and emergency clause. Alderwoman Green, have you had time to look over Board Bill 57? I have. It looks uh, fine to me. And yourself, Alderman Todd, you have any questions? I have. I don't have any, Madam Chair. All right. Then I entertain a motion that we engross Board Bill 57 as amended. So moved. Second. Previous roll. Section to previous roll. Hearing none, uh, Board Bill 57 is engrossed. Um, I just want to take for a minute to say that I think we've done all the enrollment except for Board Bill 29 and Board Bill 51, and that um, we've also done, done all the enrollments. And the last one that we're having to do that we can legally do um, is uh, Board 63. Is that right, Madam Clerk? Yes. Because the, the other one starting at Board Bill number 32 we just referred to us on uh, Monday and it hasn't been past three days. So we cannot engross. So we have to wait until three days after three days. So we're, we're, we're finished after board bill 63. So I could be wrong, but I thought that the three day rule was at, if a bill was amended. I'll talk to you. I'll, we're only doing. Okay. okay. <laughs> this is a, so this can be sent to, uh, we can do it. We, we're meeting Wednesday. Okay. So is there, unless you have something that's an emergency. No, I don't. Just we're but here. I, okay. That's why I was saying, you know, <laughs> we're doing a marathon okay. meeting. We might as well just like finish the marathon. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Board Bill 63 uh, is a committee substitute as amended, introduced by President Lewis Reed, Alderwoman. Marlene Davis, Alderwoman Shameen Clark Hubbard, Alderman John Mohammed, Alderman Lisa Middlebrook, Alderwoman Tamika Hubbard, Alderman Brandon Bosley, Alderman Thomas Oldenburg, Alderman Jesse Todd, Alderwoman 
I'm, it says Pam, but I'm sure it's Pam Bosley and Alderman, uh, Alderman Brett and Orion. An ordinance directing the commissioner of police to amend the St. Louis Metropolitan Police Department use of force policy special order SO1-01 April 16, 2014 to include a ban on officers from using chokeholds or strangle holes as a use of force method a requirement for officers to use de-escalation tactics when appropriate and possible in place of use of force tactics to establish a due duty to intervene policy and include <coughs> reporting requirements and containing a severability and emergency clause. Looks fine to me. Alderman Ty, you have any questions? No, I don't have any questions. Then I uh, entertain a motion at board bill number 63 be uh, engrossed. Uh, so moved. Second, previous roll. Second, the previous roll. Here none, board bill 63 is so engrossed. That is the extent of the calendar that I intend to take up today. I will talk with uh, my committee members about my uh, about uh, why we decided not to do any more, plus the fact that we've done a lot, lot amount of things. Um, and so, um, but and we'll go over the rules a little bit so we can be on the same page about them. But if you don't have anything else, um, I would uh, move to adjourn um, the Rules and Engrossment Committee. Second. So object? No, no objection. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Hearing none, we are adjourned. <laughs>